Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Sleeve Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, the Nerf Blaster Sleeve that Nerf created. It's basically a rifle holster that you can put on your back, of which you sling it over your shoulder if you're ready like this. And you can have a rifle inside of it, pull it out, and use it in battle, which is kind of nice. Uh, it mainly, it shows on the images in the boxes of a, uh, it looks like a stockade on there. So yeah, you can also put down on the side of this other than just putting it inside of the sleeve. But you can put smaller rifles on the side here, which might be a little easier. I'm just gonna go through like, I think maybe 12 rifles or something. I'm not really sure how many we have here. Uh, and just try them all out uh, so you can see if you have one of these guns, if it works all that well. So first of all, let's start off with the sling fire here. Now this gun does come with a 12 round magazine, I believe. So this is not gonna fit with the 12, magazine, 12 round magazine because it's way too uh, big if you just measure it like this. It's just a lot way too big. So if you have this uh, gun without this clip though, I already tested it, it's gonna slip straight through just because it's way too, uh, uh, way too thin. So let's try it out though uh, with the clip in it, see if it works well. You can put it in like this and it's steady. It does not go all the way through, which is kind of sad. Some of the rifles, they do go all the way through and they get stuck on this, which is nice. But this one, it's like it's still enough room in there. You can also fold this over because uh, there's a little thing on here and you can Velcro this to here. Uh, and that's to keep smaller guns, I guess. And so let's sling this over. And so I got this rifle here on my back and it works, it seems to work all right. However, if you try and take this one out, even if you hold the back strap right here, the other hand, it's some of them are going to be a little bit too difficult to get out. So, uh, if anything, you could just keep it on your back and then just pull it off in game like this. All right, so the next gun, we're going to do the uh, rough cut two by four here. Uh, this just slips straight through. So, uh, what you're going to want to do. Uh, is with this uh, little piece right here. If you put this up against here, then it has shortened it and it has allowed it so that this is gonna fall and hit the edge. So it does fit. So this looks like this might work well. So you can have it like that, grab it with your left hand on the bottom and it, yeah, I might need to tighten the strap. I can't even reach it wherever it is. Uh. Yeah, so I can grab it. I just need to tighten this strap, which I won't do right now just because I'm, I'm on video. But if you were to have this, you can tighten it up and have it up against your shoulder a little bit easier so you can more easily take it out. This works a little bit well. However, this uh, this seemed to be like falling away from me, so you could use it, but it may not work all that well. You could also strap it on the outside of it here with these Velcro, so if you wanted to do that, although you can't really take it off so easily with that Velcro. All right, so now we got a uh, barrel break IX2, which I think might work a little bit better. Let's try it again, like this. So you can just take it out and that works so far the best one that I've done, tried. So that worked pretty well. So you can also just strap it on it. Now let's try, this gun's gonna be really odd. This is the sharp fire here. This could work with the little attachment piece. However, you're gonna have to grab the stock. Let's try this out. Oh, I feel like it's gonna fall out. Uh. So, yeah, I already don't like this. Yeah, this is like, this is like a backpack type of thing. That doesn't work too well with this. Yeah, so you're probably not gonna do that. Let's try it with a retaliator slash recon. You probably wouldn't be able to do it with the grip if you had a retaliator. Uh, let's test it with the reef on here. And remove this so it goes all the way through. And nice. It stops just on the grip like it should. And let's put it around the back. And yeah, it works fairly well. However, it does get a little bit stuck, so we'll pull that and yeah. So that's what the big issue about this gun or about this holster is, is that it's just you can't take it out so easily. So with some of these guns, you're going to have to do when you're in battle, you'll have to take it out and just pull the sleeve off and move it from there. So 
It's definitely a little bit odd. All right, so now for the Elite Cam, a personal favorite of almost everybody. So you can fit this right in here. It seems to work quite well. However, the mag and the monitor seems to get stuck on it a little bit, but that's all right. Let's move it over the shoulder. And it looks like I did it. There we are. So that seems to work all right. And you can pull it out very easily. However, because you can't fit the magazine inside of it, you'd have to have a mag on your side in your pocket or something so you can reload it and then go. So it would take an extra second to load it up. However, that's with a few different guns. Let's put this on the side. Here. Now we got the modulus. A lot of attachments on this, which you are not gonna be able to fit in. I'm gonna remove all these. Uh, any sights or any attachments they have on the sides are not gonna fit. So you're gonna have it want, want to have it completely bare. So after you take all the attachments off, you're also gonna need to take off your take out your mag because that won't fit too well. Uh, you can have a stock on it because that should work just fine. Let's see if it works and fits well. And it's all right. The mag or the handle gets stuck right there, which is all right. And whoop, 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 whoop. There we are. So that seemed to work all right. You can pull it out of there and it's very smooth. So you can take it out, uh, works fine. So let's move on to the next. We got the long shot CS6. Uh, this is the zombie strike version, not much difference. If this came with a 12 round mag, you can't put that in there because this is going to be way too big. And I'll see if this fits. What I worry about is the two, um, uh, the bolts on the side. Let's see if it fits, and it does. Just a little bit odd, a little bit scrunched up. So we can just put this around our shoulder and see how it works. So that seems to work all right. However, if you're going to be running with this, you're going to have the, uh, <laughs> the bolt is going to be like nailing right into your back so I don't know if this would be all that worth it and I can feel it right there as well as because it doesn't come out too well because of those bolts. So let's move on to the next gun. We got the uh, Thunder Blast which I think is kind of an interesting gun to have on your side. It's like uh, an extra grenade launch you can keep on your stuff, which I think would be worth it if it fits. Uh, the feeling it may not because of this yeah, this grip is gonna stop it. So that is gonna, definitely gonna be a problem. So if you're gonna, if I, if I try to put this on my back, it's just gonna fall right out. Maybe if you put it backwards, let me try that real quick. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. So sadly, I don't think you're gonna be able to fit that on your back too easily. I could try, but I don't wanna stretch this thing out too much. Now let's try it for the Mega Centurion. Again, this does have the bolts on the side, so it's gonna be a little bit too difficult. I did try it with this before and you have to remove the mag or otherwise it's not going to fit too well so let's open this back side. So let's and it works all right. So put it on the back and it seems to work Oh, okay, however, those bolts are in the way, so you're not going to take it out. So, again, you'd have to take it over your shoulder to take it out. So, it doesn't work all that well. So, I think that's all we got except for one more rifle. All right, so now for the Rhino Fire. This should definitely fit in here. Ah, indeed, it works perfectly. Although it might fall out of your back, it still will per work perfectly. Overall, I would definitely recommend this if you have the right gun to fit in it. Like the Elite Cam works fairly well, uh, and some of the other guns like the Recon seem to work all right. However, like the Long Shot, <laughs> the Rhino Fire, it's not gonna work too well. So if you have a gun that does fit in it, uh, that seems to, it would fit properly because I just showed you a bunch of them here, uh, then I would definitely recommend getting it. But if you have something else, it's not really gonna be as it's not going to be of use. So anyways, thanks for watching Nerf Soak Reviews, and I'll see you guys next time.